We discover our world by revealing the pattern of nature. But it's hardest to recognize the pattern when it's right in front of our eyes. Hidden in plain view. Collecting different atomic elements together results in individual molecules. Collecting different molecules together can result in the introductory properties of life. Some of these very simple collections of molecules can group to form communities called cells. The molecules have no life until they collect to form these cells. A single cell can act very intelligently. It lets food in through its walls and many refineries transform it to proteins. It has an internal transit system and a defense force, power plants, and a complex protective casing. Collecting different cells together can result in a community of cells called a plant or an animal. These larger beings are much more complex than cells and capable of similar food intake, internal transit systems and defense forces, digestive systems and protective casing. Birds collect into communities called flocks fish into schools, ants into farms, termites into colonies, and bees too, collect into a society. They have specific jobs in taking food to the collective, policing and defense, transporting and processing food. Look at the beehive. It's so much smarter and exhibits so many different traits that don't exist within a single bee so much so that it's been classified as another animal, a superorganism. 